Hey guys, what's going on? I got something super interesting for you guys today, and that is a firmware update to SSL's 360 software, two new plugins, and how that is going to play a big role in the SSL workflow into so-called native workflow with the new UC1 controller in mind. But anyways, let me start this here really quick. And then um, let me pull this up. This is where it's going. Yes, um, a super cool new plugin that integrates for both the UF8 and the UC1. Let me show you how this looks like in Logic. And it doesn't matter really which software that is. So what I did here is I inserted a plugin on every channel that is that called the channel strip two that was just updated. Here we go. So let's line up session here with the drums. Here we go. And as you can see, I have a channel strip two on each of those tracks here. Um, now the cool thing is this thing here. So without getting in the way, 360 gives us an entire mixing desk. So when I make adjustments, say on the drum side, I select the drums, um, this gets actually highlighted here in, in a slight green outline. And if I wanna open the plugin in Logic, I have already full control of the plugin right here, but I can access it all the way. So I don't even have to look at the DAW in order to mix. I think that's a significant, that is a significant upgrade. Um, and as you know, the UC1 is going to be the dedicated controller. I have that coming in a couple of days. In the meantime, you can use the UF8, for example, here, you can toggle through the um, features of the plugin. So in this case here, we have bypass, one off, uh, we have in trim, phase inversion, um, we have low pass filter, high pass filter, um, we have the out trim, um, certain things are not visible um, right away, and then it goes on to the low, low frequency, low mids, high mids, um, high frequency. So it kind of like follows down that path. Then we're coming into the compressor section. So if you scroll down on the mouse, it goes from a from the general view, it kind of like magnifies this and you can push up on it. Um, you can push down on it. So that's pretty cool. Compression ratio, compression threshold and so forth. So I'm gonna zoom out here a little bit so you can see the entire picture. So we can navigate through um, all channels at will, basically, sort of a sort of like a CLA mix hub. Um, and we can, of course, then go back to Logic and not work with that at all uh, additional display. It's not something you have to set up like in uh, mix hub. And if it's set up, it's there. Um, it's always there. It's automatically setting itself up, but you can completely disregard it. Drums, if I select my plugins, they just pull up right here very neatly. So that is super helpful navigating through uh, the session. So um, the other thing, and that's really cool, are the bus compressors. So I have a bus compressor here on uh, the master. And I also have it, I put it on the drums. So that's basically would be the drum bus. I don't have a drum bus here at the moment. And then I have actually a keys bus where I have organ and the synth and there is a bus compressor. Now, how does that look like with, with the software? They line up right here. Here is where my buses, my bus compressors show up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bus compressors. And you can select them right here. So that is the other cool thing um, that happens. So it's another way of accessing those and having them on a radar screen. All right, um, let's play the session a little bit. Let's check out that saxophone a bit.
so yeah, this came really at a surprise. Uh, you got a few settings that you can adjust. Basically, what the uh, this meter up here is showing is it just the output meters or the input meters? Basically, really good for gain staging. Um, the bus compressors uh, you can make them appear or not appear. You don't have too many options to resize those. Um, but um, cool thing is you can select several DAWs here also. Um, and if you scroll up or down with the mouse, this is what happens. And you can just push, um, push the image around. And you have also an external side chain, and then you can run that into the filter to make sure the compressor reacts uh, accordingly. So that is something that I find really straightforward like any SSL 4000E or G series uh, plugin. Uh, just talking about this plugin, it's pretty straightforward. It's an upgrade from two. If we want to look at the first one, channel strips. So let's just compare the channel strips. So anyway, so here is the new SSL native channel strip two. I think it, there was an older one uh, before that even. So this is sort of like the new, new one. If the new UC1, this is being mimicked. The UC1 is laid out exactly like this. So I think that makes a lot of sense. I'm not sure if sound-wise there was an improvement. Maybe you guys know. Um, this section here is a little bit more, I don't know, inspiring if you want. It's a little bit more lit. I guess it saves more space also that way because you can plant several next to each other. Oh yeah, and then there's some additional features like press tab to zoom in and out. Let's see, let's see if that works. So that's the same thing as with the mouse. Um, we also have option click a channel to bypass it. Let's try that out. Um, option click, bypass. Let's see. Yep, that looks like it's bypassed. Pretty cool. Could we select more than one? Let's see with shift. Nope, you can't do that. Not in the software. That would have to be done in the mixer. Um, what other tool tips are there? Turn on auto select channel strip to automatically focus a channel strip when you interact with it. Okay. Uh, channel strips automatically follow your DAW session. Let's say we flip this here. We flip this around. We're going to bring the bass here and we're going to bring the lead guitar right after the bass. And if we then go back to 360, that order is, um, established and we can let's see if we can undo this one two perfect check it out yes that is really nice now so the cla mix hub doesn't have that big advantage at least in logic in pro tools channel strips will appear in the order they were created by your daw reorder channel strips by dragging the track name. Also, we have solo. To use the solo system, ensure you insert channel strips on every DAW track. Don't forget to solo save the channel strips on buses, auxes. So to use the solo system, ensure you insert channel strips on every DAW track. That makes sense, right? Because if you don't have it and you solo here, it's just only going to solo the ones that you select the channel, where the channel strip is inserted on. It won't solo the entire session. Uh, that's going to be important once you work with the controller. You want, with the UC1, when you hit solo, everything to go solo. And I have no problem inserting this on every single track. I think that's a great, great uh, workflow. But also a new feature, the SSL UF8, now you can time out when it goes bye-bye sleep mode. I find that pretty cool. I've set it to five minutes, which is ridiculous. I just wanted to see if it works. Here are the sleep setting five minutes. <laughs> Let's change that to 15. There you go. Enable hardware sleep mode after 15 minutes. That's pretty cool. They didn't have that in the previous uh, version of the software or firmware. Software, so software and firmware have been upgraded, right? Cool.
All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.